skeptical of, that you have questions about, that you are, you don't want the self to just completely let him or herself over into. What are some things that you're skeptical of? Yeah. Spiritual teachers. Spiritual teachers, right? <laughs> Do you want to say more about that? Eight out of ten. Yeah, let's awesome. just say. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Good. So I'm very skeptical of spiritual teachers. Yeah. Good. What else? Well, other people in general. People in general, what are yeah, their motives? Exactly. What do they want? What is it? Why are they doing what they're doing? And what is it they're hoping for from me? Good. What else? My beliefs. What? My beliefs. Okay, so you're skeptical of the self. Mm -hmm. The self's beliefs. Yeah. Okay. And how his beliefs are maybe either obscuring reality or distorting or it's reality. Allowing, we get suckered into. And yeah. Okay, how good. It's gonna how all of the beliefs are going to start controlling him. Like, exactly. His world views. Yeah, very good. Uh, new environment. Okay, I'm skeptical of the new environment. New place. Mm -hmm. Good. Get rich quick schemes. Get rich quick schemes, for sure. Or one product panaceas. <laughs> yeah. So make your whole life better. Yeah, indeed. Has Joy ever kind of checked one of those get rich schemes out? Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and she found out, in fact, that they were maybe not so trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Miracle cures and mm. infomercials. Okay, great. Mm. <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. Government, doctors. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Government, yeah. doctors. Yes. Skeptical. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. What else are you skeptical of? Skeptical about the uh, intentions of Tom. Uh -huh. About Tom's own intentions. Mm -hmm. So again, we should notice that as a skeptic, you can be skeptical of, of the self. You can be skeptical of others, you can be skeptical of things in the environment, that you're just, you're basically surveying all the time for danger so that, the, that you can really scrutinize what's happening to, to make the self safe, basically, right? So you have a really, really important function. How do you feel about, um, as the skeptic, how do you feel about big mind as a process? Skeptical. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what are some of your skepticism? That it might work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're skeptical that it, it might not work, and you're skeptical that it could work. Right. And what's the effect of that going to be? Eek. How's that, how could that change the self? How could Pearl be affected, and will, that, will she be safe? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Skeptical yeah. about what it, what it's, um, how it's affecting this guy. Um, skeptical about how it's going to how it's going to create something, some state experience, or mm -hmm. it was like, what is it actually going to mess with my mind? Mm -hmm. It's not actually going to be a real experience. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, right, so, right. Is it scary. real, is it not real? What is it? State experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. um. Skep yeah, go ahead. Skeptical that even though um, it could be a very powerful tool, mm -hmm. she won't you know, use it, it'll be like a one-shot deal. Right, right. So you're skeptical of her capacity to integrate. To integrate it, yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, in a sense, I'm skeptical of my own position uh -huh. as the skeptic. Oh! And I'm skeptical that um, if I don't question everything, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, then Tom will live in ignorance. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> so as the skeptic, he's skeptical of the skeptic. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Skeptical that it's big mind, not big heart, that it lacks uh -huh. uh, depth. Uh-huh, good. Very good, good. So these are all really, really important. Anything else that we should voice? I'm skeptical of, uh, well, there's, there's a split between ordinary life and, say, spiritual life, or ordinary weekends and work. Mm -hmm. And I'm skeptical whether this split will ever be healed and also skeptical that ordinary life uh, isn't enough. Mm -hmm, sure. There's got to be more than just ordinary life. Right. Right. So another way of saying it would be, I'm skeptical that any kind of big transcendent state experience can be bridged to mm -hmm. my ordinary everyday functioning. Mm -hmm. And then I would ask the question, why isn't the ordinary functioning sufficient? And what do those big state experiences even mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. or Good. to put it another way, so what? So what? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is a great thing too? Mm -hmm. I yeah. still need to say what I'm skeptical of. Yeah. yeah. Exuberance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Myself mm -hmm. and other people. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So whenever people are 
emotionally expansive. You're, you have a question about what that, that's about. Good. Huh. Okay. Salespeople. Salespeople. Good job. Skeptical of um, the corporations and uh, the media. Sure. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. I really any like anything in our society that gets everybody behind it. Yeah. yeah. Like anything that gets too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel really excited to be heard and honored. Because I feel like as a skeptic, I play a really strong role in others' life, and I don't think I'm honored for that very much. All right, good. So I'm glad to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I want you. I actually, I'm going to invite you, just like I did the controller. I'm actually going to invite you to do your job. What's the difference between you and the cynic? The cynic's already decided. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, or or does everybody hear that? That actually, for they you as a skeptic, changed. it is a question. It's not closed. It's a real question. Mm -hmm. Like, you're rigorous. You need data. You need empirical evidence. You need to see. You need to have things proven. But it isn't already a no. And we want to make that distinction that for the cynic, all these questions about teachers and practice and spiritual experience, for the cynic, the question's already been answered. What's the answer? No. 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 So there's, right. So I'm not really inviting the cynic into the process, but I'm inviting the skeptic. And, and the Buddha himself's instruction in his teaching was always, never take anything I say on faith. If it doesn't bear out in your experience, throw it out. So that's your job here today. Your job is to be here and to do your job. Okay, but okay? as a skeptic, yeah. I fail Pearl every time. I, she makes the dumbest decisions. <laughs> and as a skeptic, I, I, I failed. I haven't, I haven't warned her. Okay, well, let, let, me, let me ask a question. Are you the skeptic or are you the judge of Pearl speaking? <laughs> let me speak the, to the judge, the voice of the judge for just a minute, please. Sorry. Who am I speaking to? The judge? Yeah. So how do you feel about Pearl and her decision? She's so stupid. She's so stupid. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, good. Now I'd like to speak to the skeptic. How do you feel about Pearl's decisions? Naive. Maybe you have a question about her decision making. As the skeptic, it's a question. Right? Okay. Does everybody see that difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe she leaps too soon, maybe she doesn't, but I'm just going to keep really paying attention and seeing what I think about that. That's your job, is to keep that an open question. Okay. Got it? Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. All right, anybody else? John? Yeah, skepticism about many children. I think you give them a you give them a title and they show your pedigree and a fancy suit and a rod and they think they're somebody and I'm like exactly. and I say show me your heart I don't care if you're thirty three hundred thirty four in line from Peter you know you're an idiot you know it, pedigrees don't mean much I mean. okay it's a conclusion. Mm -hmm. But as a skeptic, that whole question about what is the value of lineage, Absolutely. what does it mean to be a lineage holder, mm -hmm. can you be a lineage holder and keep your heart open, who are the examples of those people that can? Or does it become a big ego trip? Exactly. To or or above other what people? are the dangers, what's the shadow? Sure. And you see that as the voice of the skeptic, I keep reframing it in terms of these questions, mm -hmm. right? Because the questions keep the whole thing alive, right? Those are great questions. Very good. Okay? Yeah. I've got one. Um, I'm, I'm not sure maybe if this is, I guess what I'm skeptical is doing a process like Big Mind because deep down my hope is to have more spiritual mystical experiences and um, I'm skeptical because it's so important to me that it can happen. I guess. It's so important to the self, you mean? Yes, it important it's so to the important self? to the self. So the self is really wants to have that experience. And as the skeptic, how do you feel about her longing to have the experience? <clears throat> it's hard for me. Um, how do I feel about her longing? She really wants a big opening. Yeah, well, it's more like, again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, fair enough. So do I. <laughs> And as a skeptic, how do you feel about it? And she's been 
you know, doing different things for many years, and I was like, go, and I come back, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's 